Okay. Hold this closer. Maybe there. From when stars explode. How about you start reading? Start reading. That's exactly what I want you to do. I um highlighted sixteen oh four. Okay. Okay, go ahead and pause where you are at, and now I am going to read it out loud. Highlight any words that are, you do not know what they mean so that I can explain what they mean together as a class, okay? So I also want you to think about the words observe, inward, and reactions, okay? Are you ready? Okay, from When Stars Explode by Ken Crosswell, PhD Highlights. So number one, paragraph number one, a supernova is the spectacular death of a star. The last time people saw a supernova in our galaxy was 1604. That was before astronomers were using telescopes. However, every year astronomers see supernova exploding in other galaxies. Astronomers can often observe such supernovae for months before they fade from view. What is an astronomer? Bo? Well, so astronomers are people that study space. So one day you could be an astronomer. Okay, second paragraph. Moo, moose, sorry. 
Most supernovae, that's the plural for, of supernova, and it's pronounced, oh, I pronounced it wrong, supernovae, come from massive stars. Antares is a massive star. Such a star is born with more than eight times the mass of the sun. When a massive star is young, it is hot, bright, and blue. Its center makes energy the same way the sun does. By changing hydrogen, the lightest element, into helium, the second lightest element. This nuclear reaction creates energy that heats the star and makes it shine. The exploding star that people saw in 1604 produced a glowing cloud of gas and dust called a nebula. The nebula at the left is all that remains of that star. So that's a dead star. Yes, bro. Um, I just wanted to point this out. A nebula is actually a star. So this is the left. This is the nebula. Okay, page 19. Ready? Finger on the. The outflow of huge amounts of energy, much of it light, pushes outward from the star's center. This is good because the force of gravity pulls inward and tries to make the star collapse. But as long as the star can make energy, it can fight the force of gravity and survive. If you're extremely tired, then we need to talk with mom and dad about you going to sleep earlier because right now you're supposed to be following along. I'm on paragraph five. So finger on the word however. We're on the thank you. Yes, Ariana. Outflow, where is it? On top the outflow of huge amounts of energy. So it gives out, it flows out. Okay. Paragraph five. However, a massive star must make lots of energy to fight the gravity of its own mass. So the star shines very bright as a, as a result, we can easily see the star across hundreds of light years of space. Eyes on your book. Thank you. This is a huge distance because one light year is the distance that light speeds through in a year. Nearly six trillion miles. But because the star shines so brightly, it uses up its hydrogen fuel within millions of years. Much less time than the billions of years the sun will take to use up its fuel. Yes, Thomas. If the sun dies, I don't know. That's if the sun dies, we're all moved out. Okay, let's finish up. Finger on soon. Yes, it does. There's three pages. Okay, finger on soon. We're on, we're on the other page. Soon, the star's center runs out of hydrogen. Then the star expands and cools, turning into a big red star, like Antares. Astronomers call such a star a red supergiant. The red supergiant makes energy by changing helium and other elements into still heavier elements. 
but these nuclear reactions do not make as much energy as hydrogen did. Within a few million years, the star has no fuel left. Okay, so I'm right here where it says in a star. Elian. In a star, two opposing forces are always at work. Gravity pulls the star's mass toward its center. If no force worked against gravity, the star could collapse. But energy in the form of heat and light pushes out from the center and works against gravity. So long as the star can make energy to fight gravity, it stays alive. Okay, so look at that picture to help you understand the text. So here's a star. Because we, because astronomers and um, we have studied what our sun has. So these are like suns, but they're far away. So they're stars to us. Okay. Raise your hand. Yes, Marley. They're not little. They're bigger than our sun. They're just they're just so far away that it looks small. Okay, Ariana. Because since we're so close to the sun, when the, when we're rotating, um, the sun's brightness makes it too bright on Earth for us to see the stars. But they're so far away, they're not that bright to us. Because we're too far away from them. Does that make sense? Mohanad? If the sun dies, do we die? Um, technically, yeah. But how? Because we need the sun, and plants need the sun, and we need food, and food grows in crops. And if, and if we don't have heat, it'll be, everything will freeze, right? If we don't have rain either, then we won't get water. Okay, back over here, focus, come on. These are great science and great scientist questions. Let's finish this up. Is it about this? Okay, after this. Okay. Paragraph eight. Thank you, Mohanad. Thank you, Emma. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you. Paragraph eight. Thank you, Olian. Okay, now the stars in now the star is in big trouble. The star can't make energy to hold itself up, and gravity is still trying to pull the star inward. So the star's center collapses, scrunching itself into a small, dense object. Meanwhile, the star's outer layer shoots into space at millions of miles per hour. So the outer layer is blowing out into space. So the star is starting to blow up. Dylan, over here. Well, we're not close to that star, so we're good. Okay, so back. Where am I on meanwhile? Where am the star has exploded? So this. Oh. Yeah, we're on paragraph nine, right? Thomas, turn it up. Ready? Dylan, that's not okay. I need you to focus. So look at your book. Sit up straight. Thank you. Elian, ready? Paragraph nine. Our sun won't blow up. Ready? Supernovae, it, uh, supernovae are violent, but we do not have to worry. The sun will never explode. 
If a supernova occurred within a few dozen light years of Earth, we would be in trouble. But the nearest star that will explode is more than a hundred light years away. Believe it or not, supernovae help life. In fact, without them, Earth would not exist. Neither would we. Here's why. When the universe began, it had only it yeah, it had only the three lightest elements: hydrogen, helium, and a little leaf lithium. But the life needs heavier elements, such as oxygen, which we breathe, and iron, which is in our blood. And Earth is made mostly of oxygen, silicon, and iron. Almost all oxygen came from massive stars, like Antares. During their lives, massive stars cause helium nuclei to join together to make oxygen. Then, when the stars explode, they cast this oxygen into space. And the explosions themselves make iron. In fact, scientists think supernova explosions made most of the iron in the universe. Okay, over here. I'm reading this because it's helping me to understand the illustration and the text. Elian, eyes on your paper. A star needs fuel to make the energy that fights the star, oh, that fights the pole of gravity. Once the star uses up its fuel, gravity wins the fight. The star's center collapses and its outer layer blasts into space. The star becomes a supernova. Okay, so now, what does observe mean? Fill in. What does observe mean? Did you raise your hand? Well, I thought you did. Well, what, what's observe? To watch or to witness. Something. Oops. Okay. What does inward mean, Sophie? Inward means you're going to like a cave or in your house. Okay, so some moving in. Not like moving in a house, but something that's going in the direction of in. So for the stars. For the supernovas, inward would be going this way, towards the middle of it. Okay, what does reactions mean? Really? Okay, so something, yeah, that's a good, that's a good that's a good um definition. Let's try to tighten it up. Um and then put your arms down. Sophie? Uh, reaction is like you're watching something happen. It's like observing. It's kind of like observing? Yeah, it's reaction. So reaction is Yeah, it can be so like for people it can be a facial expression. Well, but what about a reaction of a supernova? It's like it's just something that happens, Thomas? Make something, making something happen? We can just kind of put it that well. Okay, so a react, react, 
reactions are something that happens afterwards, after an event. Something that happens after an event. Okay, were there any other words in the reading that we want to talk about? Silicone. So silicone is another element. Do you know what I'm talking about when I say elements? Kind of. I must up. Okay, so we obviously have the table of elements. So let's look at one of those. And this is more of um, chemistry kind of stuff. But here's what I'm talking about when I say it's an element. Okay, so here's the table of elements, okay? So the first one is hydrogen. Hydrogen mixed with oxygen makes what we breathe. I don't know. Um, this is more of high school. So, no, hydrogen is an element. Oxygen is what another element that's in all of the air that we breathe. Hydrogen mixed with oxygen makes water. Nobody corrected me. It makes water, H2O. Okay, so this is what it's talking about when it says on page 20, like lithium, iron, silicone, so silicone is another element that we have, but we use it to make like plastic. But uh, it's like this, this kind of plastic. Does I stand for It should. No, it stands for iridium. What? Yeah. Okay. Any other question? Any other vocabulary words you want to talk about? Um, really? Don't ever ask that question again. That's not okay. Okay. Anything else? No. All right, let's go to page 21. Ready? Page 21, so you're on this page. Thank you. So look on your paper. Ready? Thomas? Okay, page 21. Thank you, Mohammed. This question has two parts. First, answer part A, and then answer part B. Okay, question A. Question 1A. What are two main ideas of the article by Ken Cox? Cross well. So, how many answers should we have? Two. Two. Okay. Okay, Thomas, start reading your question. Start reading through the main ideas. Ready? Supernovae are violent, violent explosion of stars. B. Looking on your paper, astronomers do not always use telescopes. Looking on your paper, C, astronomers can see supernovae for months. Dylan, looking on your paper. Eliam, looking on your paper. Ah. D, start reading D. Thank you, Ariana, for reading D. Stars make energy through nuclear reactions. 
E, stars produce light that travel across the universe. F, supernovae are interesting for astronomers to study. Okay, so what do you think are our best two main ideas for the whole um, text? A and something else. So A, supernovae, supernovae are violent explosions of stars. Does most of the article talk about that? No. Okay, maybe. Oh yeah, kind of. Kind of? Okay, so we want to go with A? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, we A? Yeah. Keep going. Okay, what other ones are you thinking? Or what other one? D. D, stars can make energy through nuclear reactions? Yeah. 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 Is most of the text about that? Yeah. Yeah, right? Okay, are any of the other ones a close option? No. Where it, most of the text talks about it? Does most of the text talk about astronomers do not always use telescopes? No. No, that was only one sentence out of the whole article, right? So it's never, definitely not that one. Astronomers can see supernovae for months? No, no, they didn't. Nope, and I, it did not talk about a whole paragraph about that, not even a page. Focus. Stars produce light that travels across the universe? No, oh, no. No, nope, it didn't talk a lot about that either. Supernovae are interesting for astronomers to study? Yeah. Kind of, but was that what the whole thing was about? No. 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 Thomas messed up. And make sure you raise your hand. Yes, Emma. Not right now, we're working on this, okay? Okay, part B, ready? So make sure you circle A and D. Ready on. Oh, A and D. A and D. Come us back to your seat. Five, four, three, start reading part B. Two, one. You don't even need those right now. So do I need to keep them on my desk? Bro, just get back to your seat, bro. Thomas, that's how we're all feeling right now, that we just want you back to your seat. Hey, but you should not be getting out of your seat just because you want to. Thank you, Thomas. Okay, part B. Okay, which two sentences from the article best support the answer to part A? Okay, so A. The last time people saw a supernova in our galaxy was 1604. B, that was before astronomers were using telescopes. C, such a star is born with more than eight times the mass of the sun. D, its center makes energy the same way the sun does by changing hydrogen, the lightest element, into helium, the second lightest element. E, as a result, we can easily see the star across hundreds of light years of space. Yeah. F, if a supernovae appeared within a few dozen light years of Earth, we would be in trouble. So D, did you say D? D supports this one or this one? This one? So stars make energy through nuclear reactions. Is this, is this a good piece of evidence, key detail that supports this? Yes. Okay, it sounds like we mostly agree. So let's go with D.
Okay, so we need one more, right? So what do you think? E, as a result, we can easily see the star across hundreds of light years of space. Yeah. Yeah. That was before astronomers were using telescopes. Okay, no, not B. Merlin. F. If a supernova if a supernova occurred within a few dozen light years of Earth, we would be in trouble. One of them is D. So this piece of evidence supports D. So now we need one piece of evidence from here that supports A. Supernovae are violent explosions of stars. Can I say something? Yes, Ariana. In A, it says that supernova is violence. So, and then F says that it will be in trouble. Mm -hmm. It's violence. Okay, does this support A? Yes. Yes. Ah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, number two, ready? Okay, Thomas, you have the last ones? Okay, number two. Read the following sentence from the text. But as long as the star can make energy, it can fight the force of gravity and survive. So which dictionary from the way entry best defines energy? So which one of these is the best definition for the word underlined, which is energy? So A, physical strength. B, Hydrogen and helium gas. C, heavy metals that increase weight. D, power that comes from heat. Okay, raise your hand. Ariana? A or D? Sophie, what do you think? Huh? B? Yeah. Marley? A or D? B! Okay. So, let's think about it. So, ready? Some of you are saying A. So, physical strength for definition for energy. So, let's think about how it fits with the sentence. So, but as long as the star can make the physical strength, it can fight the force of gravity and survive. It's B, B, B. It's B. Okay, it's not A. What other ones do we want to see? B, B, B. Sophie? B. B, and then Mohanan says D. So B, hydrogen and helium gas. So, but as long as the star can make hydrogen and helium gas, it can fight the force of gravity and survive. Okay, D, power that comes from heat. So, but as long as the star can make power that comes from the heat, it can fight the force of gravity and survive. Okay, it looks like we're stuck between B and D. So, is a star made of 
Does the star need to make hydrogen and helium gas? Yes. Yes. Okay, where does it say it? Let's look for the evidence. It's not B. Okay, let's go back to page 20 and read that this part right here. Aliana, tapa boca up. Thomas, put your mask on, please. Okay, so a star needs fuel to make the energy that fights the pull of gravity. Once the star uses up its fuel, gravity wins the fight, the star's center collapses, and its outer layer blasts out into space. The star becomes a supernova. Okay, so it needs energy. The kind of energy it needs is D, power that comes from heat. It's, it's, uh huh. But it needs the energy to stay as a star. Okay. Got it. The red super giant. Thank you, Mohana, for raising your hand. Yes. Quickly. The red super giant makes energy by changing helium and other elements into heavier elements. Okay. Is that what you're looking at, Bo? Okay, so let's read the sentence on part two. But as long as the star can keep making the energy, it can fight the force of gravity and survive. So it's not saying that it's going, that it's making hydrogen and helium. It's saying what energy is. Because the energy that the sun makes that we see is that it's making heat, the power of the heat. So you're right, energy does mean for that it's using helium and other gases and other elements, but it's using it to make other heavier elements. It's not using it to fight the force of gravity and survive, okay? All right, got it? Circle D. Yes, we did that a while ago. Okay, we'll go ahead and stop right here. We'll finish this up on Tuesday. So if you need to, grab your fluency chart and your reading and stick it in that page right there. And then close your books and put it away. Everybody, everybody, bring a coat on Tuesday. Yes, Emma. Really, really, yes. really.